In this video, we are going to study the application of Bernoulli in a Pitot static tube. Basically, a Pitot static tube is used to measure velocity of flowing fluid. A pitot tube is a small tube with its open and aligned into the flow so as to sense the full impact pressure of the flowing fluid. It measures the stagnation pressure. So, here is a sketch of the pitot static tube. Okay, this is the point of a stagnation. In situation in which the static and stagnation pressure of a flowing liquid are greater than atmospheric pressure, a vertical transparent tube called a piezometer tube or simply a piezometer can be attached to the pressure tap and to the pitot tube. So here, let's say you have a pipe here and we want to measure the velocity at a certain point so with the help of the piezometer this can be done let's say this is your point 1 and this is your point 2 at the stagnation and then this is your piezometer tube The liquid rise in the piezometer tube to a column head, head that is proportional to the pressure being measured. So, there are some head here. Let's say we use the water here. And it also have some head at the pitot if the pressure to be measured are below atmospheric or if measuring pressure in gases piezometer tube does not work however the static pressure tap and pitot tube can still be used but they must be connected to some other kind of pressure measurement device such as a u-tube manometer or a pressure transducer so basically this piezometer also can be replaced with other device such as manometer to measure the pressure difference. But for now, we focus on the pitot static tube with the piezometer tube and how we want to apply the Bernoulli equation for this device. Right. So when we want to apply the Bernoulli equation here from point 1 to point 2 to get the velocity at point 1 we write the whole Bernoulli equation here in the head form P1 over rho G plus V1 square over 2G plus Z1 equal to P2 over rho G sorry plus v2 square over 2g plus z2 here you need to put your assumption based on the pitot static tube and also the piezometer for example here we can say that at point 2 this is the stagnation point where your velocity is equal to 0 and then from point 1 to point 2 there is no elevation difference so 
your equation is simplified into v1 square over 2g equal to p2 minus p1 over rho g and we can reduce our terms okay p2 minus p1 over rho g multiply with 2g here and then you square root also and it becomes v1 equal to Two P two minus P one over the density of that water. This is the square root. Okay, P two basically is the stagnation pressure, and P one is the pressure at the piezometer tube or the point of interest. Okay, so this is how we apply the Bernoulli equation on the pitot static tube with piezometer tube